Assalamu alaikum guys. I wanted to uh, follow up on a message that I previously recorded. It was uh, something along the lines of uh, nothing has a meaning except the meaning that we give to something. Uh, it reminds me of a book I read some years ago, uh, written by uh, Viktor Frankl, In Search of Meaning. He was a, he was a psychiatrist uh, by profession, uh, and he was a Jew. And uh, he was taken to the concentration camps. You guys uh, read about it in school. Uh, so, I mean, in, in the concentration camps, I think, you know, the numbers were maybe one out of 25, 30 people that went in there didn't come out alive. They were uh, taken to the, to the ovens, to the, to, you know, just really, their fate was, uh, wasn't good. So in that, in that kind of environment, uh, obviously, the mindset of the people that went in there, uh, you know, they, they lost it. As soon as they went in there, they gave up. Uh, well, Frankel was, Victor was different. How was he different? Um, him sharing his experience as he learned uh, being naked and uh, in those prison cells, uh, you know, what the soldiers were doing to him were just uh, was the kind of really repugnant stuff, the kind of stuff that we even, you know, shudder or, 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 or just don't even want to repeat some of that stuff. But uh, he was, uh, as he's going through this experience, what he was learning, he was almost like an outside observer looking at himself going through this experience and uh, visualizing himself that once he got out, that he would be sharing this. So this could never be repeated. This will never happen again. And what he learned basically, what he concentrated on, that his prisoners could take away everything from him except how he thought about himself, about his condition, about his situation, and what he was learning, the person he was becoming. He lost everybody, his whole family, his brothers, sisters, uh, I believe his, his wife. He was the only survival, um, if I remember correctly. So, uh, he, uh, I'll follow up with the story in another video, but what I really want to get at is the meaning he gave this experience. What was happening to him? It couldn't have been a tougher situation in our life than what, what he gone through. And uh, sharing my own experience, you know, early on in my, my childhood, I shared with you, you know, my mother passing away when I was four years old, dad always traveling you know, a dysfunctional beginning. Uh, and then becoming an athlete and, uh, you know, a couple of people saying something about me that I really believed the passion, the drive, the, the hard work and developing those abilities, the meaning that I gave it. Then uh, again, just like our faith, you know, our, our, our state of mind, which we constantly need to manage, it fluctuates, it goes up and down. So, you know, we must be able to control it, you know, at all times. Uh, the peak performers, they're, they're the best at it. Uh, that's what we want to learn to do. So, uh, the meaning we give to something. I went through a few years, you know, uh, where I, I shared with you in, in analysis, paralysis videos, uh, I, uh, I attached the wrong meaning to, uh, to, to investment, to business, to growth, where, uh, this individual, you know, close to me, where he passed away, he made some wrong choices that didn't work out for whatever reason. Um, uh, and, uh, so looking back, understanding this, this concept, you know, that nothing has a meaning except the meaning that you give it. Uh, you know, the meaning that, that, that I, uh, I, could, I could change, I could, I could, the meaning I could give it today is, uh, you know, with, 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 with investment, with growth, 
the freedom as opposed to pain, as opposed to headaches, pain, uh, more problems, uh, the freedom it, it could give me. What I could do to my family, uh, for my family, the opportunities that I could, that I could create. And uh, likewise, uh, you know, um, exercise or diet. What I'm doing right now, as opposed to pain, uh, I could associate pleasure with it. Uh, and remember, in the previous video, what I was getting at uh, in the analysis paralysis was everything that we, we do, all humans do, everything. We do it for one of two reasons. For, uh, to avoid pain or to gain pleasure. And uh, advertisers have figured this out. You know, they'll take uh, really bad products, you know, like cigarettes or drinking, and uh, which uh, are bad for us and they don't even taste good. You know, so, uh, but they've programmed us with the videos, with advertising to, hey, it's cool to try these things, you know. Uh, you know, and they make, they make the people in, in, in the videos look strong and cool and, you know, the in crowd be like them, the pleasure that you could gain. Um, you know, so, um, likewise, just knowing these things, uh, you know, why we do some of the things that we do for uh, uh, pleasure or pain, that drives all of our behavior. Uh, we'll talk more about that, guys, later on. But just finishing up that thought on nothing has a meaning except the meaning that you give it. We'll talk more about that too, guys. I gotta run. It's not like I love you guys.